Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Lyle's Friday Podcast here at CNS Corvettes. I know I have been absent for the last few weeks, and I apologize. We have been inundated at the shop with all the work we canceled when we shut down for a month, plus all the new work that's coming in. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, because that's good for us. But I have been extremely busy to the point where I haven't even been able to make a video. So I took time right after our Friday morning meeting today to film this so that I can share something really neat with you. Um, this is not a major Corvette specific technical uh, information bonanza. However, I received a lot of calls from customers in the last months asking about converting to a new stereo system in their C2, C3, C4, C5, C6. They want to gut the entire system, whole new head unit, all new stuff because what they really want is Bluetooth so that they can take the music from their phone and play it in their car. Guys, I know that most of you spend time on Amazon, but for those of you who aren't super technically savvy and maybe really don't understand Bluetooth and what it portends and how it works, this video is for you. Believe me when I tell you, you do not have to switch stereo systems. You do not have to gut the inside of your car like a fish. You don't have to do any of those things in order to use Bluetooth. What you have is you have a plug-in Bluetooth adapter. Okay, This particular one came out of my own car. Uh, I bought it about a year and a half, two years ago on Amazon. In fact, I checked today. These are $16.99 delivered right now on Amazon. I am making no money on this part. I don't sell it. I'm not promoting this particular brand. What I'm promoting here is the idea and how it's going to help you listen to your music in your car without having to install a new stereo system, just so we're all on the same page. So what I want you to understand is this plugs into your cigarette lighter. I don't care what car you have. If you have a 66 or a 2006, it works the same. You plug this in and right here, there's a digital screen that comes up and you're going to select a radio station in your area that has nothing on it. That's really simple. Turn on your FM radio in your car and go through station by station until you have nothing but static and set this to that. Then you simply hook your phone into this by going to your Bluetooth settings. It tells you what to look for. There's a little name this thing has on mine is HY82. You hit HY82, they talk to each other, and all of a sudden, voila, you have all of the music on your phone is readily available right here to play through your radio. The quality is excellent, and you can cycle through. You can do everything you can do with a big Bluetooth stereo right out of this little unit. Now, some of the other things about this that are really cool. I'll bet you don't have hands-free calling in your 1978, right? Would you like it? Okay. Spend $16.99, and when you plug this thing into your cigarette lighter and you hook it into your phone, there is actually a tiny microphone right here on the side of this thing. I don't even know if you can see it, that little dot. When you're listening to your music and your phone rings, this little guy automatically pauses whatever you were listening to, and if you hit answer on your phone, it will play the call over your speakers, and it will listen to you through the microphone in this little unit, and you can have a conversation hands-free. No extra charge. Really cool, right? In addition, if you aren't savvy with, if you don't have a smartphone, if you're not used to doing this stuff, most people, even if they're not smartphone users, have a PC at home, even by accident. So if you don't want to carry 46 different CDs with you when you're driving around, you can always plug those CDs into your PC download them, and then save them to a thumb drive. Beautiful thing about a little thumb drive, this unit has a specific slot. Actually, it's on this one, it's the, uh, it's the one amp slot. You simply just plug this in, and now you can play your music right from here. So if you, if you know how to put files onto a thumb drive, you can use it the same way. Of course, this has the advantage also of you can fast charge your phone through here. It does a lot of neat stuff, guys. But most of all, it allows you to play the music you want to hear, the audiobooks you want to hear, 
without having to change out your stereo system. And like I own four of these, one for each of my cars, but you can, if you only want to pay $16.99 once, pull it out of one car, plug it into another car, it's good to go. It's quite happy to do the job no matter where you put it. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about this because I've used it myself for almost two years. It's never failed me. It does everything it's supposed to do. And it saves you so much money, time, and effort if what you're trying to achieve is access to your digital music in your older car. Now, I know that many of you who are watching this are like, Lyle, we've known about this for a decade. Why are you telling us about this? This video isn't pointed at you guys. This video is pointed at the people who maybe don't have a, such a great familiarity with modern technology because they don't do them their internets or they simply don't understand how smartphones work, whatever. These are the people that are talking about spending thousands of dollars on a stereo that they don't need. So if we can marginally educate them and save them a lot of money with something that works really well just like this, I think we're doing them a big service. So I appreciate you not commenting and telling me how I'm behind the times because this isn't aimed at you guys. That said, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will be shooting two or three different videos next week. So I'm going to start amping up now that we're getting back to normality, putting out a lot more information. I appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you next week. As always, make sure you click the like and subscribe button. If you have questions, feel free to call me at 800-886-5064. Have a great weekend, guys.